Shalom. It's your brother Malcolm. We're coming at you with another lesson. Giving all praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Call Halal Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. All right. Who's the power that I worship? Which is the true name of the Father and the Son um, in heaven. Uh, double honors unto the apostles and the elders of GMS, who are the true leaders of all Israel, set up by Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. And honors unto the Akim that are out there on the lines around the four corners of the earth that are doing this work in truth and sincerity, all right, in the, in the face of their enemies, man, in the gates, all right, risking their lives and their freedom to do so. And salutations to any of the Akwa who are listening and learning. Um, this is going to be a, like a, a response to a, a, one of the men in my camp, the brother Yaki, did a beautiful video <clears throat> which it seems like he's going to start a series called the church versus the scriptures and churches uh teach contrary to scripture all of them you know whether it be a baptist church a jehovah witness church a mormon church you know a catholic church it's like they teach contrary to what scripture says so uh i'm gonna go over a couple of scriptures that he did in his video and just, you know, <clears throat> and add, and just skillfully add unto it. And I'm going to start with John 3.16, which is, as he said, which is probably true, probably the singular most uh, famous scripture in the whole entire Bible. And, and John, the, the, and the deception and the lie behind John 3.16 uh, and with the false image of Cesare being pushed uh uh as the as the face of of the lord and and ultimately of the lord's people all right because ultimately if the the lord had a people and and uh he was a hebrew according to he was a, a of the tribe of judah came in the flesh for all you weirdos who just want to deny that said he was of the seed of david and he was of the tribe of judas uh hebrew 7 and 14 which means he had to come from a, a man's sperm which if you can't get that you're plain stupid. Uh, I have nothing. There's no nice way to say it. You're plain stupid. He said he's of the seed of David. Women don't have seed. They receive it. All right. And Hebrews 7 and 14 clearly says, for it is evident. And I'm just going to read it. I know I'm probably quoting it correctly, but I'm just going to read it. And then we'll move on with the lesson. So let's go to Hebrews real quick. And this is Hebrews 7 and 14. And it reads, For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah, of which tribe Moses spake nothing concerning priesthood, but yet the head priest of all Israel is Jehoshaphat, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus. And they do ignorantly call him Jesus because the letter J didn't exist until 1634. So as I once heard a young brother say, then what did, were they calling him in 1633? Couldn't have been Jesus. It couldn't have been Jehovah. All right. I've even heard Edomite pastors tell that truth right there. So the truth is coming out. But uh, but when you go, so let's get on. Let's go ahead and go to John 3, 16. Let's go to it. And I'm going to read it. This is John 3 and 16, and it reads, um, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that who, whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. All right? So, and the, the word there to examine is the word world, because through, through fabrication, new speak, and just complete deceit, we've been given the mindset that every time the word world is used in English, it literally refers to, to, to the whole world in most cases. But when there's a there's like 13 or 14 different definitions of the word world when you actually look it up. And when you look up this word in the Hebrew, um, it's, it's G2889, all right? And, that, and the definition winds down, comes down to, uh, it, it, it meant um, a harmonious arrangement you know, um, 
and uh, 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 an ordinance, you know, I'm just, you know, roughly paraphrasing, I'm not, you know, and and, 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 and if you've been watching GMS videos, or you just go on the Blue Letter uh, Bible, you'll see what I'm saying is absolutely uh, correct, all right? I've read the definition myself plenty of times, and, you, you know, and you can probably, uh, every other uh, Hebrew Israelite video, especially them with GMS, is, is going to be breaking that down, because that's the number one go-to. That's the number one, well, no, brother, because he loves everybody. And the word world there does not mean the whole inhabited earth, which is another word. All right. Which is the word oinkimini. And we're going to and I'm going to give you the same example that he used to prove that. All right. Because and what's that harmonious arrangement? The, the 12 tribes of Israel. OK, that's what it's going to break down to. And it gave a list of definitions. And one of the words that came out of that was aggregate. In the list of, of meanings of the definition. So we're going to focus on that word. All right. Because he looked it up in the blue letter. But I'm going to look it up in this Winston Simplified Dictionary. But first, let's go to the other scripture. Where the word world is used. But yet it has a different meaning. All right. So let's go to the book of Luke. Uh, the second chapter. First yeah, so this is Luke uh, 1, I'm sorry, 2. Right, and it reads, And it came to pass that in those days there went about a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. All right, and this tax was first made in Cyrenus, was the governor of Syria. And there was a lot of Israelites in Syria at that time, man. Okay. And matter of fact, it's still a lot of them mixed in there with the with them, uh, Ishmaelites to this day. Still a lot of uh, Israelites over there. Because a lot of them people over there dying, you think are Arab, or really, you think are so-called Arabs. A lot of them go back to the Israelites, man. Okay. But uh, when you look up that word, world, the world there is Oinkamini. And it literally means the inhabited earth, you know, where people dwell. So that should make, wait a minute. So if that means the inhabited earth where, uh, where other people, where people dwell, then why would they use cosmos? All right. In, in, the, in the scripture that, you know, the Christians, the, these religious people like to, to go and run to. So let's look up that word uh, aggregate. Let's look it up. In the Winston Simplified Dictionary, 1933, um, Encyclopedia Dictionary, bib with biblical references. It's a mighty book right here. Like my man said in the movie, this isn't a book, it's a weapon, you know. Uh, aggregate. And it reads, see, I need my glasses for distance, not for up close. It's, it reads, uh, to lead into a flock, to collect, to bring together, to gather into a mass or body, accumulate, to amount, to total, entire mass, the mass formed of dissimilar particles. All right. Uh, hard materials used in making concrete. Oh, okay, it's going into something else. But that first one, it says to, to gather. And who's need to be gathered? The, them which were scattered. Because did it not tell you that, that, that he, was, he came for that which was lost? All right? That's the Israelites, man. Okay? So whether you go into a biblical reference or you go into a collegiate res, reference, um, the word cosmos and the word world are two different things, man. It's not talking about the same thing. Period. Okay? Um. Let me go to uh, Second Ezra 6, one of my favorite scriptures. You often hear me bring out 6 and 27 and 28, and it reads, For evil shall be put out, and deceit shall be quenched. And as for faith, it shall flourish. Corruption shall be overcome. And, tr and the truth, which have been so long without fruit, shall be declared. And, and 
the truth is being declared, man, because Esau eat them and the powers that be are falling literally before your face. And they're proven to be liars, man. And they purposely lied. All right. Let's go to uh, Sirach. Book of Sirach or Ecclesiasticus. So I prefer to say Iraq, so this is Sirach, so it's no uh, confusion, because sometimes br brothers think you said Ecclesiastics, or well, Ecclesiastes when you're saying Ecclesiastica, so I just say Sirach. It's a lot easier that way. Um, yeah. 20 and 24. And it reads, A lie is a foul blot in a man, yet it is continually in the mouth of of the man in the man of the untaught. So these people are un, they're not taught the truth, man. All right? They're not. And this is why they continue to lie. This is Sirach uh 32 and 17. A sinful man will not be reproved, but find of an excuse according to his own will. So our people, according to their own will, just regardless of how much evidence and proof in scripture that does not back this up how much evidence proof in scripture that proves this to be wrong they find an excuse to worship it anyway that's what they do many of them which is hence the other reason why they're going to die here in america man this is uh another scripture that i really like that yaki brought out in his video and hit that excellent uh epistle that he did this is uh wisdom of solomon Um, the seventh chapter, and the twenty eighth verse, seven and twenty eight, and it reads, "For God loveth none but him that dwelleth in wisdom." And the people that have the wisdom are the people to understand that the letter J didn't exist. That the word world is talking about the Israelites and not all the races on the earth. The word, if it was, it would have, the word there would have been um, Oinkamini. All right. Remember, the New Testament was written in Greek and the Old Testament was written in Hebrew. And if it meant all people in the world, then uh, the, 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 the word there in John 3.16 would have been Oinkamini and not Cosmos. A particular set of people, the people were being gathered because the Israelites got scattered to the four corners of the earth and mixed them in, uh, mixed in among all people. And that's what the Bible is literally about, about that scattering and that gathering up of them. Um, this is uh, Baruch uh, 4 and 6. And it reads, Ye were sold to the nations, not for your destruction, but because you move power to wrath. Ye were delivered unto your enemy. So the Israelites got got sold into the hands of their enemies around the four corners of the earth. And for you black power morons out there, they're all not going to be super dark like 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 uh, uh, Wesley Snipes or Shaquille O'Neal, man. All right? They're going to come in all different uh, 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 shades and forms, man. All right? And, I, and it just blows my mind, which makes me think, man, a lot of these people that make these dumb comments on the comment boards, they have to be agents, man. Because if you can't understand, if your mind is so... If you your your mind is so narrow, you got such blinders on you like a horse that you can't understand if if Wesley Snipes went over to to Japan and see and a lot of you 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 haven't traveled. I've been to Japan, man. All right, and I've seen what people look like over there. Some of them are as dark as Negroes. Some of them even have kinky afros, man. So that so that evidence of their of their dark nature, even though they got that that curse on them that uh. That what they call the epicantic fold, that slanting of the eye, which is uh, Down syndrome, which is a mark from uh, uh, f from uh, in in uh, uh, incest, from how they began, man. Ammon and Moab were incest babies, man. And just like Esau got that pale flesh, the lack of color, they got that mark in their eyes, man. So you would know who Ammon and Moab is, all right? But even in their presence, man, some of them got wide noses and big, th thick lips just like Negroes, man. And if you covered up their eyes, man, you could you could clearly see those features in a lot of them, man. All right. But, you know, but Esau been pumping them full of seed for centuries, man. They've been mixing and mingling with the Menomites, man. 
There's a lot of them are Edomites, but a lot of them, there's a lot of Jakes mixed in with them too. And it's, it's just mind boggling how people can't understand that. Going back to the whole Wesley Snipes thing, if Wesley was to go over to to Japan, which he's heavy into the martial arts. And even in the movie, you see, you could clearly see that the man likes uh, Asian women, man. It's been more than a couple movies where I could think about where he was like, you know, hugged up with the little Asian mommies, man. And and, so, and some of the eminent more white women are attractive, man. Matter of fact, you're going to find attractive women in, in, in all the nations, man. All right. The most attractive women are Israelite women, though, hands down. But you know, the women of the other nations, you know, some of them are, are, are very attractive too, man. And if Wesley or anyone like him was over there um, uh, making sons, making babies, man, um, some of them could come out looking like uh, their mothers, people, and not like Wesley at all. And I, I know personal examples of that. I was with a girl yesterday, um, my client, my client, and she has a little girl. Her little girl's a little, you know, one of these days, I'm just going to take a picture of her or something, man. But... But looking at her daughter, this little blonde girl, you would never know that her father was a so-called Negro, man. Looking at her, you would never know that. And he's a he, and he's a very dark Negro too, man. Not a not a not a light skinned guy, you know. He's not, you know, it's not evident that that there's something else in him and all that other mess. How you people like to to talk? Looking at him, he looks like a straight up Negro, man. All right. But his daughter looks like a little white girl. So enough on that, you know. Uh, uh, one more scripture. This is uh, going back to the book of Sirach. Let me finish this lesson out. This is Sirach uh, 33, uh, 1 through 6. I'm going to just read that and sh shut it down. And it reads, There shall no evil happen unto him that feareth Yahweh, but in temptation, even again, he will deliver him. A wise man hateth not the law, but he that is a hypocrite therein is as a ship in a storm. All right. And the ship in the storm has been blown all over the place, man. And a man of understanding trusteth in the law. That the law is faithful unto him as an oracle. So the law is not done away with, man. And it is an oracle because of there's prophecies, you know, tied into the law, man. Okay. It says, Pre prepare what to say and thou shalt be heard and bind up instruction and then make answer. The heart of the foolish is like a cartwheel and his thoughts are like a rolling axle tree. A stallion or a horse is as a mocking friend. He nayeth under everyone that stareth upon him. So that's how you, you know, you foolish. That goes back to that wisdom of Sol Solomon 7 and, and 28, man, because a wise man doesn't dwell in, in wisdom, man. All right. And the wisdom to have understanding to look up and learn the meaning of words so that you can have proper understanding of what the scriptures is talking about. The masses are too ignorant to that. That's why I said, blessed is he who readeth. And, and it also, that means understand. There's lots of guys who read and out there teaching. They clearly don't understand a damn thing. So with that, I hope this was a edifying lesson. And shalom.